guys and welcome back to the daily football chat with your host James Carpenter so today what I'm the first topic on my mind has come from Sky Sports obviously Chelsea have agreed terms with Timo Werner from RB Leipzig the German international has a 55 million pound euro release clause or in pounds that is 49.4 million so obviously the question is, would he fit well at Chelsea? Obviously, Chelsea, uh, ha what they do like is a good, decent striker. And let's just look at his stats. So, in the Bundesliga, obviously, obviously Germany have started playing again. So, obviously, the stats are a lot different to the Premier League. So, number one, touches in the opposition box is 185. Goals, he has 25 goals in the Bundesliga. And let's not forget, the Bundesliga is a very difficult league. Um, I'd probably put it up there in the top three. I'd probably go Premier League, La Liga and Bundesliga. Uh, shots attempted is 103. And in the goals category, he is second only to Robert Lewandowski, which is a good effort because Lewandowski is arguably one of the best strikers in the world. Obviously behind Suarez and etc etc etc. Obviously he's ranked two in shots attempted. He's number three in dribbles attempted, so it just shows you he's good with the ball. And he's got seven assists, which puts him ninth in the league. And obviously Chelsea have offered him a two hundred thousand pound a week contract, but also Liverpool have been interested interested in him as well as Manchester United but Chelsea do seem the favourites to sign him let me know what you think of that one transfer window from August to October which I think is a good move because obviously teams are still going back into football and obviously I think the transfer window is supposed to be open upon like June the 18th or something like that obviously with the Premier League not scheduled to probably finish until end of July start of August so you like a few people have already mentioned you've got different teams with different ambitions obviously you won't want to sell your best players when you're trying to avoid relegation or we'll get into the Champions League, Europa League, etc, etc, etc. So I think that's a good move, but obviously what we are hoping is that all leagues do the same thing, because obviously the Spanish one could like start in like, say, July and then finish in September or extend a bit longer, and obviously we would finish a lot sooner, so other teams can buy different types of players and different types of windows so I think if we all have the same window throughout the whole season and the seasons going forward I think it will be more beneficial but what does that mean with the January transfer window does that mean that would go later on or do you reckon they would expel that so let me know what you think of that one and now some championship news which is the league below the premiership some good news for the championship teams they will be restarting on June the 20th so that is three days after the Premier League restarts now Sky Sports have um, determined on June the 20th there will be a further nine games broadcast on Sky within the following ten days obviously they start with a double header 
do, 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 do. So that's very interesting news. Obviously, I'm a big Nottingham Forest fan, so obviously we're in the championship. We're in fifth or fourth place at the moment. Obviously, trying to. I don't think we'll get automatic promotion, but to get a chance to go into the playoffs and maybe go to the Premier League, that would be the biggest achievement in Forest history. So obviously, let's start out with a few fixtures. So we've got on Saturday, June the 20th, Fulham versus Brentford, live on Sky at 12.30. Saturday, June the 20th, West Brom versus Birmingham, the Midlands derby. So that'll be a big one. That's at 3 o'clock on Sky. And then Sunday, June the 21st, Cardiff versus Leeds. So obviously that's an important game for Leeds because obviously they're in the chance of winning the league, along with West Brom. Uh, and then obviously Friday, June the 26th, Brentford versus West Brom. Saturday, June the 27th, Preston versus Cardiff. Sunday, June the 28th, you will see Bristol City take on Sheffield Wednesday. And the big one for me is Sunday, June the 28th, Nottingham Forest versus Huddersfield. Now, if we win this game, I think we will be one step closer to consolidating a playoff spot. And then Tuesday, June the 30th, you will see Millwall that take on Swansea. Wednesday, July the 1st, you will see Preston take on Derby. Thursday, July the 2nd, you'll see Hull take on Middlesbrough. So those are the fixtures so far that Sky Sports have determined. Obviously, they have to link it all with the Premier League. So obviously, maybe there'll be some games shown on different channels and all that kind of stuff. I know, I think BT aren't doing any live games. I think it's Sky. I think BBC have got a few. I know there's some on. I know there's some on Freeview because I checked over my grandpa's house. Uh, obviously, Amazon Prime are doing their football edition again. So stay tuned to that. So yeah, that's the some Premier some Championship news. <coughs> so guys, that can conclude all of today's football chat. Remember to follow me on Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it. I'll link everything down in the description down below. Remember, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace and out.